star-crossed redemption, in the bustling city of Verona, where feuds between two noble families, the Montogs and the Capulets, were as common as the rising sun. A tale of forbidden love unfolded. It was a story of passion, tragedy, and ultimately, redemption. Romeo Montague, a dashing young man with a heart as wild as the roaring sea, found himself entangled in the intricate web of love and hate that bound the city. Juliet Capulet, a delicate flower hidden in the shadows of her overbearing family, longed for a love that transcended the boundaries of their long-standing feud. The Montogs and the Capulets, bitter rivals for generations, had instilled hatred and animosity into the hearts of their kin. Yet, amidst the chaos, Romeo and Juliet's love blossomed like a fragile bud in the heart of a storm. Their clandestine meetings beneath the moonlit sky and stolen glances in crowded streets fueled the fire of their forbidden passion. One fateful night, Romeo sneaked into a grand copulet ball, cloaked in the shadows of masquerade attire. There, he laid eyes on Juliet for the first time, her beauty eclipsing the grandeur of the ballroom. Unbeknownst to the young lovers, the threads of destiny wove tight around them as they exchanged vows of love amid whispers of betrayal and doom. The city of Verona, though oblivious to their clandestine affair, bore witness to the escalating tensions between the two families. Tybalt Capulet, Juliet's fiery cousin, discovered Romeo's presence at the ball and, blinded by fury, sought vengeance. In a tragic twist of fate, Mercutio, Romeo's closest friend, became entangled in the feud, leading to a duel that would alter the course of their destinies forever. As Mercutio lay dying, cursing the ancient grudge that had claimed his life, Romeo's heart grew heavy with grief and guilt, consumed by remorse and a thirst for redemption. Romeo faced Tybalt in a fierce duel, inadvertently sealing their fate in the eyes of the city. Word of Tybalt's demise reached Juliet's ears, and her heart sank like a stone in a bottomless sea. The realization that her love and her kin were forever intertwined in tragedy sent shockwaves through her delicate soul as the world crumbled around them. Romeo and Juliet's love transformed into a beacon of hope amid the darkness. Driven by love and the ghosts of their past, the young couple sought refuge in the arms of Friar Lawrence the wise old priest who had long served as a silent witness to the city's turmoil. Recognizing the gravity of their love, Friar Lawrence devised a daring plan to reunite the star-crossed lovers, hoping to mend the wounds inflicted by years of hatred. The plan, however, was not without its flaws. Miscommunications and unforeseen events conspired to turn the final act of this tragic tale into a heart-wrenching crescendo. Romeo, unaware of Juliet's feigned death, rushed to her side with a vial of poison in a desperate bid to join her in the afterlife. The tragic tableau unfolded in the dimly lit chamber, where Juliet lay in eternal slumber. In a moment of despair and undying love, Romeo consumed the poison, sealing their destinies with a bittersweet kiss, as life ebbed away from his veins. Juliet awoke to find her love lying cold beside her, Heartbroken and filled with a grief that transcended mortal understanding, Juliet cradled Romeo's lifeless body in her arms. In that solemn moment, the heavens wept, and the city of Verona stood still, as if mourning the loss of two souls fated to be entwined yet torn asunder by the cruel hand of destiny. The tragedy that unfolded within the city's walls served as a poignant reminder of the destructive power of hatred and the transformative potential of love. The Montauks and Capulets, shaken by the aftermath of their children's demise, were forced to confront the consequences of their bitter feud. Verona, once divided by the shadows of ancient grudges, now stood united in the face of loss. The death of Romeo and Juliet became a catalyst for change, a force that shattered the chains of hatred and vengeance that had bound the city for generations. The feud that had plagued Verona, for so long began to crumble, replaced by a collective yearning for peace and reconciliation. In the aftermath of tragedy, the city's elders, burdened by the weight of guilt and sorrow, came together to forge a new path for Verona. The legacy of Romeo 
and Juliet became a symbol of hope, a reminder that love could transcend the boundaries of hate and inspire change even in the darkest of times. Friar Lawrence, haunted by the role he played in the young lover's demise, dedicated the remainder of his days to promoting peace and understanding among the feuding families. His sermons echoed through the city streets, urging the citizens of Verona to embrace compassion and forgiveness. The tale of Romeo and Juliet, once a cautionary tragedy, evolved into a narrative of redemption and renewal. The city, scarred by the wounds of the past, began to heal as the Montauks and Capulets, humbled by the loss of their beloved children, worked together to build a future free from the shackles of hatred. The streets of Verona, once stained with the blood of ancient grudges, now echoed with the footsteps of a new generation, determined to break the cycle of violence, as the sun set on the city, casting a warm glow over the horizon. Verona stood as a testament to the enduring power of love to overcome even the darkest of adversities.